in my course we have accounting so financial accounting management accounting we also have something with management so international management principles of management this degree you can actually work in the sales side or in the accounting side or in the marketing side or also in the management side wow. so there are a lot of opportunities with this Hello guys welcome back to my channel Mumbai Car in Germany so for those who do not know me my name is Shraddha and I make videos on life in Germany studies work everything related to Germany so if you guys are new here do consider subscribing guys because there is going to come lot about Germany so, hi guys today i have with me my another super cool friend <laughs> so she is Sahi so Sahi welcome Thank to you. my channel. Thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, most welcome. It's my pleasure. And yeah, so today I'm going to do a interview with Sahi because it's she is doing bachelors. So she will only tell. She will only give her introduction. So Sahi, can you please introduce yourself? Sure. So I'm doing my bachelors in international business and economics. So I'm going to get bachelor of science degree at the end and this is in uh, Ochefen Gurukul University mm -hmm. so it's like you know shortcut OVGU okay and it's located in Magdeburg that's like 1 hour from Berlin mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah and since how long you are here in germany so <laughs> that's the basic <laughs> part because you know i was surprised when i came to know this so she will tell about that <laughs> yeah sure uh, i've been here since 2012 i had to move because of my dad he got a job here he got transferred here mm -hmm. so we all moved with my family and i've been doing my schooling here i finished my abitur here and then Right now, I'm in my bachelor studies. Yeah, so she came here when she was just 12 years old. Yeah, I was 12. <laughs> and you know, this is the best part because she did all her schooling here in Germany, and German school is totally different as per our Indian school education. We all know that. So, but yeah, next video to banta hai uske saath. <laughs> the thing is that she doesn't understand that much Hindi, but she understands it. She can't <laughs> speak it. <laughs> I do understand. I yeah. just can't speak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we are going to do another. video also with her so i'm going to trouble her again <laughs> no it's not a trouble <laughs> so but now today let's start our today's video she is going to explain us in detail about bachelors right about yeah. bachelors in about my bachelors <laughs> <laughs> in international business and economics yeah, so, so short ibe yes international business in uh, something like oh no 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 tell me so yeah, let's start this video guys right <laughs> because okay. the sun is coming and going and the weather is also like this but uh, but we have to start it so let's start it no skits later no so sahi can you please explain us in detail about your course yeah sure so um in my course we have accounting so financial accounting management accounting we also have something with management so international management principles of management we also have microeconomics macroeconomics so everything related to economics mm -hmm. and also relating to marketing so how you how to use the seo and everything yeah so with this degree you can actually work in the sales side or in the accounting side or in the marketing side or also in the management side wow. so there are a lot of opportunities with this course this course is, seems to be really interesting Yeah, yeah, because there's so much of opportunity, guys. So, like, guys, you are always asking me questions. You know, I get lot of questions on Instagram for this. Like, why Germany is full of engineers? <laughs> <laughs> so, why in Germany is there only only scope for engineers? Why not for New York Commerce students or some other field? But look now, she is doing, and she just now gave us Sahi so much of information about her course. So now, Sahi, my next question would be. Uh, how people can apply to this course what are the eligibility criteria first thing so for this course you of course need a 12th grade so uh, i think in india you would say inter mm -hmm. inter second year and uh, you can do it in commerce that's fine and then with commerce then you can enter into this course and here you don't need any grade so there's no grade requirement but you need english proficiency because the 
whole course is going to be in English. Mm -hmm. So there's no, uh, you don't need German. So, but it would be great to learn German a little bit, at least like A1. Obviously, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, one of the points you said is very nice that you rec don't require any kind of grade. Yeah. Is it really true? Yeah. So you don't need any grade requirements. You can just apply like that, but then you need English proficiency. Yeah. So, which is IELT score or TOEFL. So how much you require for IELTS and TOEFL score? What is the percentage? Like any mm -hmm. idea? So in IELTS, bag? yeah. So in IELTS, you need 7.5 points or more, mm -hmm. and in TOEFL, 85 and more. Okay, so that's something nice to know. Yeah. Thank you. And who all can apply? Like since you are doing bachelor's in international economic, right? Mm -hmm. Business economy. Yeah. <laughs> so apart from uh, like you, as you said right now, that 12th standard student, whoever have done 12th over there in India, they can apply it, right? Yeah. But uh, as far as I know, in Germany, the education is of 13 years, right? So you require a 13 years of education you, over here. That's so what, can you just yeah. tell us something about that? Sure. So that was the rule before, but then recently they removed that rule. So anyone who have finished 12th in India, they can just directly apply to bachelor. They don't need an extra year or they don't need to do student colleague here. This is something new. Yeah. Because, you know, recently in my last video, I just did one of the interview with, the, you know that, uh -huh. right? With the student colleague students and they had to complete 13 years of education. So this is really That's one of really the nice information one. guys. Yeah. So see if you are 12th pass, a commerce student or anything, you can apply directly to this course. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, and apart from a uh, 12th standard student, can um, masters like a BCom student can also apply? Yeah, of course, like if you did bachelor's already and you want to do it again in a different course, then of course you can apply. There is uh, not a problem, it's not a problem. Okay, that's really nice. So thank you again <laughs> for this detailed information. And the next question would be like how much is the cost and what is the duration of this course basically? So the duration is six semesters and the cost is 129 euros per semester. Okay, 129 yeah. euros per semester. Per semester. Oh, and so since you're doing it from the public university, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a public university, so this semester fee covers your public transportation in Magdeburg as well. Uh, yeah. So, yes, one more thing. Since she has talked about public university, that's why it is just 129 euros per semester fees, right? You mm -hmm. said? Yeah. So, yeah, and apart from that, obviously, you required a blocked account and all those things. Those yeah, are those the. Are the other the requirements, requirements that you need. for study yeah, yeah for anything but, but yeah for public university usually the study is not free you can say but yeah there are no tuition fees yeah exactly right? there's no tuition fees and then this fee already includes your public transportation so you don't need to buy extra public transport ticket yeah so it's very nice my next question would be how to how can one apply sitting there in india to the public universities so you can apply through uni assist or if you um, if you want you can also go through dad you can find this university in dad mm -hmm. and then you can apply from there as well yeah so the application process is like you need to search a lot of universities and mm -hmm. then apply and then get into exactly, it right yeah yeah so but uh, you know like i said i did one interview before with this uh, uh, just now recent mm -hmm. interview with the bachelors for the engineer students and they had to go through a lot of process you know the visa interview and since for them it was 13 years of education here in Germany, they did student colleague and all. So, right now you said this law is not there, but what if, if somebody wants to come and if they want to, so they need to do one year of education there back in India or how can they apply? Uh, they don't need to do any extra education anymore since mm -hmm. the law is not there law anymore. Is changed. Okay. So they can just directly apply through uni assist and then you just have to need uh, upload your documents and then uh, probably post it to them so that the um, the copies with the certification mm -hmm. yeah yeah then. then it's fine so yeah since she is living here itself in Hamburg as she said since she was child 12 years <laughs> old <laughs> so that's why she didn't have to go through all this procedure but obviously she has guided us from where you can check the university and from where you can apply yeah and the next thing about regarding the scope now you might be thinking in which you know which city is better for this degrees so uh, can you please say this like can you please uh, yeah, advise sure. us regarding the cities or what do you feel the scope of this in mm -hmm. which city is better sure so for uh, for commerce students i think uh, it is better in berlin 
in Frankfurt in Munich so the south of Germany is really good for commerce students mm -hmm. and also Berlin is also pretty good you can find and Hamburg is also really good so Hamburg is find. of course the stones to start yeah. their bed <laughs> <laughs> so we live in Hamburg so that's why Hamburg is the best yeah. place <laughs> but uh, yeah coming to the main point like she said uh, see for the international students there are a lot of English speaking jobs, jobs. there are a lot of English speaking course especially in Berlin because Berlin is the capital of Germany mm -hmm. there are many English speaking uh, opportunities there so apart from Berlin she said obviously you could think of uh, Hamburg but in Hamburg it's more of logistics yeah yeah more of logistics, logistics. and engineering and then yeah. yeah in the engineering but the another score another most important city which I would like to tell you guys is Frankfurt yeah so the field which she is talking about economics or digital marketing or accounting yeah I accounting think the frankfurt is one of the management their, right. yeah economic so. side everything is like frankfurt you can earn really good money there and also there are a lot of job opportunities there so also is, yeah it is like the company hub or the financial yeah, hub of germany yeah. frankfurt they say so yeah in frankfurt you have more of it so this is something about the cities where you can apply so Sahi, as you said, this course is completely in English, right? We have this English taught programs. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Uh, is German language as a requirement? Yes, uh, it would be great if you can speak and understand a little bit of German because for traveling around the city and going around the city and talking with maybe the teachers or maybe other friends, classmates, it would be great to know German. Then you will learn more and also you can get more jobs with German language. So yeah, you would also suggest to learn at least A2 level of German, Yeah, until right? A2 level would be great. Yeah, and like mm. I say in all my videos, definitely guys do consider learning German language. If you're thinking of making a career in Germany or study in Germany, no matter even if your program is in English language, you need to uh, know German language, right? Well, you're in Germany, so <laughs> that would be great to <laughs> <Right>. learn. <laughs> So now I think we are going to end this video now because Sahi has given a lot of information about how you can apply to this course and what all are the things you need to apply, right? So yeah, if you are a commerce student and if you wish to study in Germany, do not worry, there is a lot of opportunities here too. So thank Sahi, you. <laughs> so Sahi, thank you so much for your time and thank you for telling us about this your special degree program. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. And we are going to trouble Sahi once again because like I said, she has done her schooling here. So next video with Sahi is going to come up. If you want to know more about German schooling system, about education system in Germany, especially how she did her education, was it easy for her to cope with the German language after 12 and all those things that we will do in our next video. Till that time guys. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then do consider. Yeah, please subscribe to her. It's really nice. Oh, thank you. And yes, definitely like, share and subscribe guys. Till that time, outfit is in and Bye. cheers.